So dear student, good morning. Today I would like to discuss about the rest of the power factor improvement. You know that the last time we discussed about the real industry environment, how the inductor acts adversely to wastage of power or power dissipation. So today I would like to discuss the details in tutorial form that how inductive loss in real environment can be overcome. So let's go our first uh, uh, image that we sh have shown that 5 ohms resistance and 3 ohms inductance against the 1200 volt RMS at 50 hertz with zero phase AC supply. So you know that the uh, three ohms uh, inductive react reactance at 50 hertz, definitely the inductance value is required 14 milli Henry. And for that 15 milli Henry inductance value, the impedance should be 5.8 ohms and phase angle is 31 degree so impedance is led leading because it is inductive circuit and the circuit current or rms current should be 206.9 ampere of 31 degree lagging you can see the graphical representation of supply voltage rms and supply or circuit current rms is 31 degree lagging in the phase and eventually you can find the power developed across resistance is actually I square RMSR is 214 kilowatts and the inductive load development is I square XL is 128.5 kilovolt ampere. So you can see that there is a sharing of supply between inductive load and resistive load. So the power factor of the circuit, you can see that the power factor is the real power and the apparent power ratio. Here apparent power is R square plus uh, inductive power square over root. It is definitely the 214 square plus 128.5 square is over root is 250 kilovolt ampere. So the power factor without any correction, it should be around 240 kilowatt divided by 250 kilovolt ampere is 0 0.85 without the action of any correction of capacitive load or bank, capacitor bank. So when you insert the capacitor, it should balance between the inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. So it should be equal 3 ohms like inductive reactance value and it must be inserted across the resistance and inductor across. That means between point A and B of figure 1 as you shown before. So the capacitor value should be around 60 microfarad is huge. So now using this capacitor how we can reduce the load uh, loss or the power loss due to the inductive effect because I told you earlier that most of the industry environment there are a lot of coils like motor like rotor like alternators whatever it is the even your light also has a coil so it also has a current lagging effect. That means there is a phase difference between voltage and current. Obviously there is a loss as the actual power will be less compared to the resistive truly resistive load. So in that case what is the remedy? What is the over ways that how we can overcome this problem? So you can see the new circuit that we already introduced the capacitor of capacitive reactance 3 ohms is equivalent to 60 microfarad for 50 hertz supplies 
at point A and B. So you can see the figure here, the inductive reactance is there, the resistance is there, then we addition really act a capacitor between point A and B. And due to the action of capacitor, now the resultant circuit impedance should be the resistance as well. That means there is no reactive part of the circuit. That means the capacitive reactance will be nullified by the inductive reactance. So, because you know there is a 180 phase difference, so definitely it will be nullified. Now the new RMS value of the circuit current should be definitely controlled by only resistance 5 ohms. So it is 1200 volt RMS divided by 5 resistance 5 ohms. So definitely it is 240 amperes at zero phase differences. And the new power developed across the load should be 1200 volt multiplied 240 is 288 kilowatt. So previously, whenever there was inductive load, then the power developed across resistance was 240, 14 kilowatt. Now it is raised to 288 kilowatts. So you can definitely realize that due to the insertion of capacitor or capacitor bank, whatever you call, it actually significantly improved the power development across the uh, real load or resistive load and it is about 288 kilowatt minus 240 kilowatt is about 74 kilowatt is huge amount of power added in the load as effective power then how about the power factor then the new power factor you know that the capacitive and inductive reactance is nullified so the power from the supply and power at the load should be same if otherwise there is no source resistance incurred in this circuit, so definitely it is theoretically 288 divided by 288 is 1. And in that case, the significant improvement of power factor from 0 0.85 to 1, its significant power also developed across the load. So that means it is very useful to insert the capacitor bank in the industry to minimize the loss in the system and you can see the new phasor relationship between vrms and irms it is the same phase no phase lagging due to the inductance it is zero phase difference only the current amplitude definitely lower compared to the voltage because it is limited by the resistance of the circuit and you can see definitely the better interface between voltage and current without any phase differences yeah that's all i think from this uh, tutorial you understood that what is actually real scenario in the industry due to the inductive effect of many loads and how the current is lagging with the reference voltage and if so then how the power loss happened and if so, how we can insert or introduce the capacitor, we also can design the required capacitor that we have shown in uh, slide number two and three. Then using that capacitor, we can minimize the reactive effect and eventually the circuit power should be developed as similar as the source power. So definitely this is a significant improvement of the power at the load end. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thanks.